Hey y'all, welcome back to Soapbox. So um, it's Thanksgiving today and I just got um, a real happy feeling in me. And so today, I, you know, I was thinking, I think it'd be good to talk about music and the way that it can be medicine for your mood. I'm so tired of being alone. I'm so tired of on my own. Won't you help me, girl, just as soon as you can? Ooh, I mean, we all know what mood is getting set when you put on the Owl Green. Go on, hop up on your soapbox. I was just thinking about how music is so, so vast. And so are our feelings and our moods, right? So um, our moods are uh, very um, th changeable. They change all the time. And music can very much be a... Um, a medicine for this. So I, I don't mean to say that uh, it's always going to fix your mood, like not a medicine that you take it just when you feel bad. When I got married, uh, when my wife and I got married, uh, we had a song that was played on, on the way as we were exiting, and it was a Leonard Bernstein song. And it was great because at that moment, it is exactly how we felt. And, and we didn't want to use it to change our mood, but just to maybe tell everyone out there through music how we were feeling. What a day, fortune smiled and came my way, bringing love I never thought I'd see. I'm so lucky to be me. So uh, Bernstein really captured that feeling of what it's like to be, to be able to say, hey, I feel lucky to be me. And you know what? I feel lucky to be me. So I'm really happy that this song was written by not just uh, Leonard Bernstein, but uh, Betty uh, Comden and Adolph Green. And uh, Comden and Green, that's right. So, uh, you know, that, that somebody felt this way long ago. And so they wrote this song. And now today, I can either uplift my mood or express my mood or affirm my mood with a song like that. Or sometimes you can use a, a piece of music to pull you out of a mood. So this is a Wyclef Jean song that I used to listen to a lot when I was living in New York uh, because it would still me. It would remind me that I was in a glorious place even when I was struggling, even when the grind was wearing me down. I would put in my headphones and I would listen to his mood about that place. If it was my last day on earth, treat it like my first, go out the way I came in. So innocent, so pure, with no thoughts of insecurity. Live life to the fullest, be what I want to be. Last day on earth, tell my mama don't cry. See my daddy in paradise, where the blind can see, the mute can talk, the cripple can walk. But for now, heaven's in New York. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh. Heaven's in New York, oh, I need a ticket to New York. But, um, but yeah, so this, this whole notion that music can be a medicine for our moods is such a beautiful thing. And that uh, I really do hope that those of you out there who are either musicians or if you are um, interested in music or if you just like listening to music or seeing live music, really take a second to think about how you use music to affect your moods. I mean, and it can be everything from, you know, if I, if I just play a very little, I can show you the world, shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? Right? That, that, just those few chords gives you a very, um, specific mood and feeling because what do we do we set the mood don't we and i know i've said mood like a thousand times but it, it bears repeating it bears thinking that musicians composers performers and even people who are just listeners all have this interconnected and beautiful um changing that happens when we when we play music so we all know what happens when you put on that um I'm so tired of being alone, I'm so tired of on my own, won't you help me girl just as soon as you can. People say that I found a way to make you say that you love me. Ooh, 
I mean, we all know what mood is getting set when you put on the Owl Green, you know what I'm saying? You put on a couple candles, a little uh, lavender essential oils, and you put on the Owl Green, you are setting the mood. That's music right there. Now, if you want to fight, there's a song for you, right? Go listen to go listen to Metallica and feel how that feels. Or maybe if you dropped into dig a dum 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 da dum dum da da dum. Uh, I mean, that's exactly what music is meant to do. It's meant to make you feel. Not only do you hear it with the ears, not only do you comprehend it with the brain, but you you interpret it with your soul with your feeling and emotional body. And I venture to say that the more music you listen to, the wider the array of, of artists and music that you listen to, the more your moods are not going to be taking you for a ride, but that maybe you, uh, you can know where you are when you are. And if you're sad, that's okay. You can feel sad. There are so many wonderful sad songs out there. Hey, if you're feeling sad, listen to Phoebe Bridgers. I tend to think of Phoebe Bridgers' music as being down, down, depressive, holy crap, down. But she is very, very popular right now because I think a lot of people feel that way. And a lot of people hear her and go, she's giving voice to my feelings, my moods. I love that. That's why I listen to Mood Indigo by Nina Simone. And that song is driving. But she's talking about being sad when her baby leaves. And of course, I mean, if you want to talk about melancholy, yo, if you haven't heard this album, Miss Winehouse's Frank, whew, this is jazz, y'all. It's fantastic. I put this on when I'm in the cooking mood. And you're talking about some fuck me pumps. That's a great tune. She she and she had that kind of thing going on that if you listen to it, I don't know, you might not dig it, but for me, I love this album. It puts me in a mood. Maybe in the future. Maybe in the future as we have more music therapists, as we have more people being treated for things like perhaps Alzheimer's uh, or, or memory loss or a, v- a variety of other diseases that we might see that you, you may go to the doctor and they may say, okay, I prescribe you, um, listen to Revolver by the Beatles, listen to some, um, you know, a Bobby, Bobby McFerrin's Circle songs, and I want you to listen to um, Ry Cooter. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what it's going to look like in the future when we start to recognize that mood affecting music, music that affects your mood is a powerful, powerful thing. And that we shouldn't treat this like it's just a a product to be consumed, but that the artists are trying to convey something to us, their feelings. And if you can understand somebody else's feeling through something like music, through something like lyrics, then you'll grow in empathy. And that that is the good stuff right there. So um, just some things to think about. I just encourage you to broaden your landscape, uh, open up your your uh, musical uh, variety, and listen with the ear of the heart. You'll find that music is not just a delight to hear. It's a delight to feel. And hey, if you don't like it, tough. Yeah!